a winery tour this weekend in upstate New York ended in tragedy. It happened in the rolling hills of apple orchards and vineyards near the state capital, Albany. An SUV limousine plowed through an intersection and crashed outside a country store in the town of Schoharie. The limo was mangled. At least 20 people are dead. Tony DeCopel is at the scene, but first, here's Meg Oliver with the latest on the investigation. First responders raced to the desperate scene in upstate New York Saturday afternoon. A catastrophic limousine crash killed 20 people. Brady Finnegan lives nearby. First responders broke some windows to try to get people out, and I believe the jaws of life were here uh, on the side of one of the fire trucks. It happened about 30 miles west of Albany in Schoharie, New York. State police say the limo was driving on Route 30 when it ran a stop sign and plowed into the parking lot of the Apple Barrel Country Store. The limo hit a parked car and struck and killed two people standing outside. There were 18 people, including the driver, touring wineries inside the limo. No one survived. 20 fatalities is just horrific. I've been on the board for, for 12 years. and. Uh, this is one of the biggest losses of life, loss of lives that we've seen uh, in a long, long time. Stories of the victims are slowly emerging. Among the limo passengers were newlyweds Axel and Amy Steenberg, who tied the knot last June. A day before the crash, Amy posted on Facebook, Axel Steenberg, I love you more than words can say. You are such an amazing man and entertain all my crazy ideas. Thank you for being so kind and loving. Family members tell me that Axel's brother, Richie Steenberg, was also killed in the limo, but his wife, Kimberly, decided at the last minute to stay home with her daughter. The NTSB expects to be on the scene for at least five days as they piece together exactly how this tragedy unfolded. Elaine. Meg, thank you. Now let's go to Tony DeCopel at the scene of the accident. Tony. Hey, Elaine, we just got here a few moments ago. We're at the head of that T intersection, and I want to show you where the vehicle came to a final resting spot. It's right here in this little creek behind me. You can see the tree that it struck was cut into as first responders tried to make their way to the vehicle. This location is the parking lot for a little country store here in Schoharie. People have been going in and out all day long buying flowers and creating this little memorial here. If you take a little bit of a look over to my left, you can see a gash in the earth. That is a skid mark or a mark made by first responders when they pulled that vehicle out of the Little Creek. One of the questions that investigators are going to be looking at is, did the vehicle try to stop? And if not, why not? I can tell you we do not see any skid marks on the road, which leads directly into this creek. The NTSB is here on scene. They've begun their investigation. They're expected to be here for about five days. New York State Police will also be investigating. One of the questions that has arisen already among residents is just how dangerous was this intersection? How come no one knew about it? Why wasn't something done before? It's a major road here. The posted speed limit is 50 miles an hour. And Elaine, there have been concerns for a very long time. Tony DeCopel, thank you.